Fran and Stardust TLC Clinic Hudson Morning Run. I'll be doing a slow play review after I let it go through regular ones. All right, now we're going to let it go again and put it into slow motion. Um, first of all, she took her wrong lead. And when you're asking for your lead, um, what I want you to notice, Fran, is what I'd rather see you do instead of leaning forward here, um, when you're asking for your lead, sit back on your outside hip and let uh, sit back on your left hip since you're asking for your right lead and let this hip roll forward and just press her with your outside leg by the back cinch. Um, you already had her nose enough, but it's more you need to release it, just a bump release when you when you let your hip roll with it and use your um, outside leg and, and then just have her nose a little bit and she'll pick it right up. So um, she starts off on the wrong lean. Your hands are pretty even right here, but then right there, um, you kind of blame the bridle, but it wasn't the bridle. Um, I think what you need to realize is you're sitting already and you're not even uh, close to the barrel yet. You're still at least three or four strides from the barrel. Um, and you had a pretty big arc. You needed to be probably right in this area instead of way over there. And so anyhow, you're already sitting and your hand's already getting too high. So that's where she got a little frustrated. See right there, your hand went high and then you leaned and looked in. So the problem wasn't in the side pull. I think she would actually get along with the side pull just fine. But the problem is in your uh, leaning to the inside. Um, if you'll notice, you're, you're looking in, you're leaning in, and your hand is lifting up. So you're pulling her into the barrel, um, and you're losing your uh, pocket going in. So right there, if you'll notice, she uh, starts the turn. A little bit too soon because you're you're again leaning into the barrel um, you're pulling her face to the inside and then she barely can clear it with her shoulder um, so you didn't let her get in the turn you also looked up a little too soon you're already looking up right there which isn't bad um, I would have just liked you to get up here and get a little bit more into the pocket uh, into the hole back here before you asked her to start the turn. So you need to be more in this area than in this area. You're leaning, looking, and lifting too early on that first barrel. But nice recovery as far as exploding out. Um, I like here, um, she starts to, she's still running right there. And then she gets one stride of rate, two strides of rate. Your hand was lower here, which is good. Um, but you start pulling on her a little bit. I want you to try to trust her um, and just bump her. That's something you need to learn as you start going faster is to bump and release and, and just bump with your inside hand and bump with your outside leg and then just turn your shoulders and hip to look around and she'll come around easier for you. Um, so that would be your next step, but that was a pretty nice barrel. Um, I'm gonna back this one up here. Again, she's running really nice there. There's her um, first strider eight, second strider eight. That looks really good. Um, you sat a little bit more in the middle of her and didn't lean as much in this barrel. Um, but, you know, you're starting to look and all that. And I like your hand the best on this barrel the most. You're just kind of guiding her and you're not pulling her. And that was a really snappy, pretty turn. So I like that one the most. First barrel, uh, it was a timing issue looking, leaning, and lifting up too soon, and then getting in her face and starting to turn too soon on first. Um, third barrel was my favorite. Good job. You shaved off, I think, a second from the morning to the afternoon, so I'll be doing your slow play on your afternoon run next.